Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Floco ROM for this Redmi Note 3 which is based on Android version 10. So let's begin. So guys, first of all before starting the video, happy Diwali to all of you guys. So as you can see here the Android version is 10, Floco ROM version here is 3.0 Kenzo and it is the unofficial version. The security patch level you get here is the latest 1 5th of November 2020 so that's great and the kernel here is Kalina negative kernel and the build date here as you can see uh, is 6th of November so it's the latest to ROM so guys here is the settings panel here and it is, as you can see it is same as almost all of the Android 10 ROMs it is, there is no difference here so let's just begin this is the system here these are the options available you get to see the Xiaomi parts available here you can customize this is the advanced controls Yo. then you get to see the system profiles here option available here then moving forward you can see the digital well-being here is available and is working fine then going to the security here the screen lock and everything is here is working fine and the app lock here is also available so that's great and it is also working fine and but the face unlock option here is not available and as you know the fingerprint sensor here, fingerprint option is not available for me but it is working fingerprint here is working the android 10 rooms have become stable now so there are no problems here then going to the sounds option these are just the same sound option available here no option you get to see the vibration pattern and everything you this is a good option here so as you can see the in call vibration option here is available which is really a great option and it's very useful one then that is it then going to the battery here this is the these are the battery stats here and let's see the screen on time the battery life here is not that great i would say the screen on time here as you can see 2 hours and 30 minutes but i have charged for two times that that so screen battery here is not that great but uh, here in the battery you get to see the battery saver and performance more than everything these are the options available here the performance profile the battery saver power and balance everything here is available you get to see the extreme power saver mode so as you can see this is how it gets so these are some options available here <sighs> that's great then going to the display options these are the displays you get to see the dark theme and everything the styles and wallpapers here just the same as every wrong then display size and lock screen display and everything so all of them here is just the same going to the floco settings here these are the floco os floco roam customizations here these are so many customizations i will just not show you and everything these are all the status mark customization the quick settings customization the lock screen customization here are available so many of the customizations are available you get to see the recent styles and everything so these are some options you get to see the navigation bar if you want to turn on you can turn on the navigation bar the buttons and everything user interface the animation rounded corner switch style and everything here is available notifications so many notifications these sounds so this rom here is has so many customizations uh, like it's they are more than havoc os so i think this is the almost customizable rom here like it can be customized the way you want and everything you get to see the three finger swipe for the screenshot and option available here so these are the things available here so guys that is it for the settings now moving forward to the home screen as you can see these gestures the gestures are working fluidly and working absolutely fine and are smooth enough so no worries with the gestures here as you can see the room here is also pretty much very smooth here so yeah this is great a uh, great room you can use it for daily use it no worries but there are some issues we'll talk about it the wi-fi here is working and a mobile data here is also working so that's great the mobile torch here is also working the screencast hotspot everything here is working you get to see the screen record option available so that's great then talking about the camera here you get to see the snapdragon camera as you can see here then talking about the google camera so as you can see here the google camera here is just not working the google camera this is the 7.3 version and as you can see the phone just got hanged so the google camera here are not working i'll just have to reboot the phone so i'll just meet after the reboot so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and here will be the name of the telegram group you can join the telegram group and the link will be in the description below so just join the telegram group if you still haven't joined it so as you know that the google camera here are just not working and talking about the safety net here the safety net status has not passed even after the root 
so the, yeah this is a problem the banking apps here will not work and i'll show you the google play store here has not certified so this is also a problem as you can see devices not certified play protect certification so yeah this is also a problem here the play store here has not certified then talking about the geekbench score here the geekbench score i was not able to run the cpu benchmark just got stopped at 69 percent so yeah this is a problem here after 69 percent the phone just got hanged so yeah i was not able to run the G G cpu benchmark score but as you can see here the device is running fluid and i will recommend you to use this as a daily driver if you are not using banking apps and stuff so yeah the rom is pretty much very much smooth here and yo, i will recommend you to use this as a daily driver here so the performance here is just great then talking about the internet speed test here so as you can see the internet speed test here is just not an issue here i have a 50 mbps connection and i got the download speed of 49 mbps and the upload speed here is also just great i'll get around 30 mbps of upload speed so the internet here is not an issue the mobile data here is also working and the wi-fi here is also working properly so yeah that's great the wi-fi here and the internet here is just not an issue you will get the proper speed here this is it then you get to see here the omni switch here is available here the fm radio is available this is the gallery inbuilt gallery app and everything so yeah this is it then talking about the call quality i was not having any problems with the calls so yeah the calls here are just working and the call recorder here is also available so that's great here then that is it so guys now let's talk about the bugs here bugs that are i haven't faced pretty much any bugs yet the the only problem here is the device is not certified and the internet the safety net has not passed otherwise everything here is just working i will re i would really appreciate that the android 10 roms have, have pretty much been stable here like they can be used as a daily driver now and have become pretty much very stable so i would recommend you to use this rom as a daily driver if the safety net here is not an issue if you are not using and if you are not using the banking apps so yeah that is great and otherwise everything here is just working absolutely fine the google cameras here are just not working so guys that is it and you get to see the google feed and in the home settings these are the home settings this is the pixel launcher here available so yeah that is great i haven't faced the lock screen bug the random reboot bug or anything so yeah that is great but sometimes the phone just got hanged when you perform an intensive task like when you open all the apps uh, like there are too many apps running in the background so at that time the phone just gets hanged and as you know this is an issue because of the, i have the 2 gb ram version so this has been a problem with me so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to do the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and goodbye and happy diwali to all of you